blastids and vacuoles. In this video, we will learn about plastids and vacuoles. First, let us see the structure and functions of plastids. These are the cell organelles that are found only in plant cells. Plastids are of two types. One, chromoplasts. Two, leucoplasts. First we see about chromoplasts. Chroma means colored. The plastids that have color pigments in their stroma look colored and are called as chromoplasts. The chromoplasts that contain more chlorophyll and carry on photosynthesis are called as chloroplast. So, chloroplasts are green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll. Some chloroplasts contain yellow or orange colored pigments also along with chlorophyll. Now we see the second type of plastids, leucoplast. Leuco means white. So, leucoplasts are colorless white plastids. Their main function is the storage of materials. Do you know what are the different materials that are stored by the leucoplast? Starch, oils and protein granules are stored by leucoplasts. Externally, that means from the outside look, plastids, they look similar to mitochondria. If we observe the internal organization of a chloroplast, the innermost membrane is folded and arranged in stacks called as grana. The space between the grana is filled by stroma. Just like mitochondria, plastids also have their own DNA and ribosomes and can make their own proteins. Now let us see about vacuoles. Vacuoles are the sacs for storage of materials. Materials in the form of solids or liquids are stored in them. In animal cells, the vacuoles are in small size. Whereas in plant cells, the vacuoles are very big and occupy 50 to 90% of the cell volume. How do bigger vacuoles help the plant cell? The vacuoles in the plant cell are filled with cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. They store many important materials like sugars, amino acids and various organic acids and some proteins. In unicellular organisms also, vacuoles perform some important function. In organisms like amoeba, the food enters the food vacuoles where it is digested and absorbed. In the same way, contractile vacuoles are formed to collect and excrete the excess water and waste materials. So this is all about plastids and vacuoles. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.